We must now describe the next kinds of processes which the qualities already mentioned set up in actually existing natural objects as matter. Of these, concoction is due to heat. Its species are ripening, boiling, broiling. Inconcoction is due to cold, and its species are rawness, imperfect boiling, imperfect broiling. We must recognize that the things are not properly denoted by these words. The various classes of similar objects have no names universally applicable to them. Consequently, we must think of the species enumerated as being not what those words denote, but something like it. Let us say what each of them is. Concoction is a process in which the natural and proper heat of an object perfects the corresponding passive qualities, which are the proper matter of any given object. For when concoction has taken place, we say that a thing has been perfected and has come to be itself. It is the proper heat of a thing that sets up this perfecting, though external influences may contribute in some degrees to its fulfillment. Baths, for instance, and other things of the kind contribute to the digestion of food, but the primary cause is the proper heat of the body. In some cases of concoction, the end of the process is the nature of the thing. Nature, that is, in the sense of the formal cause and essence. In other cases, it leads to some presupposed state which is attained when the moisture has acquired certain properties or a certain magnitude in the process of being broiled or boiled or of putrefying, or however else it is being heated. This state is the end, for when it has been reached, the thing is some use, and we say that concoction has taken place. Must is an instance of this, and the matter in boils when it becomes purulent, and tears when they become rum, and so with the rest. Concoction ensues whenever the matter, the moisture, is mastered. For the matter is what is determined by the heat connatural to the object, and as long as the ratio between them exists in it, a thing maintains its nature. Hence, things like the liquid and solid excreta and ejecta in general are signs of health, and concoction is said to have taken place in them, for they show that the proper heat has got the better of the indeterminate matter. Things that undergo a process of concoction necessarily become thicker and hotter, for the action of heat is to make things more compact, thicker, and drier. This, then, is the nature of concoction, but in concoction is an imperfect state due to lack of proper heat, that is, to cold. That of which the imperfect state is, is the corresponding passive qualities which are the natural matter of anything. So much for the definition of concoction and inconcoction.